You've done something well and uh, they give you just desserts, they sing your song and that's, that's something that lasts forever. You know, for me, when I was sat in the stand, the airs and the back of my neck stood up when you know the team come out and they're the singing along. When we lost my dad um, and, and my granddad and rugby being part of my blood, being here makes me physically feel closer to those people. It's the wall of noise players first see and hear as they leave the tunnel. Thousands of Rhinos fans have been shouting, cheering and singing in this terrace since 1931. In 2017, it's the last stand for this proud structure, synonymous with the level of support enjoyed by the club and envied by the rest of Rugby League. It's witnessed the highs and lows of many a lead side. For our players, it can be their best friend. But for the opponents treading on the hallowed turf, it can be their worst enemy. Some of the Rhinos players haven't just played in front of the terrace, they've stood inside it as fans, and it's been cross-generational too, from legend to youngster. Well, since five year old, since my dad brought me into playing to play in rugby and uh, down at Stanley Lane coaching me, um, you know, it's always been a dream to play for Leeds Rhinos and that's what I wanted to do. And then, you know, him bringing me to the games and sat on, sat on the wall watching, you know, it was just one of them that I want to play in front of this, I want to play in front of a crowd like this and a, a stand that sings as loud as they do. For the evergreen Jamie Jones Buchanan, who even now is arguably in better nick than some of the stand, it's a special relationship between South Standers and players, one he had too as a young fan. I used to be in there giving the stick as well. I remember once Kevin Iro <laughs> missed a few tackles and uh, I made it my job to walk down the South Stand and tell him what I thought as a South Stander. And uh, I remember him hearing what I was saying and I just pointed to my dad as if it was him. Um, and that's what you do, so I've had it, the boot on both feet. But let us not forget that it's a family stand too. Generations have stood alone and then together, watching the club they love all their lives. For Jackie and her daughter Gracie, it's more than just 80 minutes. It's a part of them. Standing here is as good as it gets. It was really tough when we lost my dad um, and, and my granddad, and rugby being part of my blood, being here makes me physically feel closer to those people. So mm -hmm. there will be an emotional journey that, that I'll go through to think it's not what it was, but I know that the, this place where I'm stood is where those memories were made. I've been coming since the early 80s, just so nice, isn't it, to see how families like ours have, have come to support a team uh, and grown with that team. And the players, you know, they've come and grown as well. Thousands of fans have stood here and tomorrow will be the last chance to say goodbye. The club are planning quite a send off to their 14th man. The terrace will be replaced by a modern version. Fans and players vow it won't change the atmosphere here. And though the steel will go and railings will be dismantled, the memories will last forever. Every new beginning comes from some other beginnings. And